What's up duelers, it's Narp here, and I see that a pretty big update just hit duelists recently. Um, now the armory is decked out in a bunch of new cool things, new profile icons, emotes, you can pay real money for them, or spirit. And what I'm most interested in is the card backs, uh, but I'd rather not get anything right now because I don't have that many cards, so I don't want to spend spirit on them. And I'm I'll hold off on paying real money for card backs, but that's a cool addition to the game. And now, after every game, you have a chance, I think, of getting a mystery crate, and they're like, you can go to duelist.com, uh, the news section, to read everything in this update. I kind of skimmed it over, and these, like, I guess are like the crates at the end of the season, but um, you can find these three at the end of matches, and I just played a match, a ranked match, and I won, and I got a common crate. and. It's kind of interesting, you need to have not only the crate, but the corresponding key to open it. So that's kind of annoying, I guess, but I'll open this. I got a prismatic card, which also came in the, uh, which also uh, came out in the update. They're cards that, in a sense, they're more valuable than legendary, because, um, didn't I already have those emo emotes? I don't know. Maybe it went away because I already had it. Yeah, so it's like a rainbowish effect on a card, and it's like, I guess it costs more spirit than a legendary card, but it can be, any card can be prismatic. It doesn't have to be a card that was already legendary. Like, this is a common card that is now prismatic, so, and they look different when you play them in the game. Like, I'm not so sure, what, is there anything I can add to my deck that would be prismatic now? Yeah. So you see, my Windblade Adepts are Prismatic, I guess. Yeah, that's how it works. So I'm just going to get into a match. And I only have one Hermesic to these. I don't know how it decided which card. I guess all the basic cards. Only some basic cards, because for example, I don't have three Prismatic Soul Shatter packs, but I have three Prismatic Gloom Chasers. I'm not sure how that works. I wish it didn't like show multiple copies of them. But whatever. Um, I'm just going to play some rank today. Tempo Argeon. Because I think the last um, Lionar video I did uh, Zoran the Healer one. So I haven't actually played this Lionar deck in quite a while on this channel. And yeah, we dropped a lot in S rank because I haven't been playing. So more people have been getting S rank. And I actually just beat this person with this deck. So that's cool. Um, I have a turn one play. I'm just going to get rid of, I think, these two. Actually, I'll get rid of the tiger. Early on, I don't love the tiger. Okay, so I have a pretty strong opening hand. I think I can safely get rid of the healing mystic. It doesn't really fit my curve. And this is not too shabby. I got a turn two play. Um, turn four play if I want. Most likely, we'll just go with a silver guard knight, though. We will see. Um, so, yeah. See if I can beat say he that's his card backs. So I guess that's the default card back. That's what the card backs of mine look like. I'm not sure. And now I wish I kept I'm actually really stupid for not keeping that Saber Spine Tiger because I knew that he had Cannon of Mechazor. I knew he had Cannon of Mechazor. I'm pretty stupid. Um hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the Lion. Okay, and I think right now I'm just going to provoke him. If I go here, then I can maybe get that after. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. So he will have access to the mana spring. Maybe that wasn't so smart. I'm not going to attack there because then uh, my Windblade Adept just dies easily to this cannon of Mechazor next turn. Yeah, I really wish I had this Aerosine Tiger to play. Big replace mistake. Cryogenesis, so he's going to take care of that. Let's see if he does it with his... He uses his uh, cannon. And now he can grab the mana spring and play two drop now. 
which will be a crystal cloaker. Okay. So I do have two Arclight Regalias. Um, but I think... Hmm. So I have a tough choice here. Because I have to move my general for my uh, Wimbledon Adept to destroy this thing. Then I can't play my Iron Cliff Guardian. So I guess I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna play the Iron Cliff this turn. Although I could by grabbing the Mana Spring. Instead, I will just go for the Arc Light, and I'm gonna get rid of a Healing Mystic. Yeah. Problem is, this can just take anything out then. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's just go with this. Destroy that. And that will be that. Should have probably replaced there. But now I have an Iron Cliff Divine Bond play. And. Kind of far away from that. I mean, I could just put an Iron Cliff Guardian next to it next turn, but. That would not be the perfect thing to do. Kinetic Surge. Wings. So I can't I can't grab that mana spring now. And another helm. Okay. So I think I'm definitely gonna play the Iron Cliff this turn. Uh, nothing really else to do, and I could give it plus one attack if I grab the mana spring. No, I can't because I want to play it over here, so it's provoking both of these. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll get rid of my nothing actually. I think my hand is pretty good here because I mean I love a sunbloom. He's going to play something soon, but this is pretty good. Yeah. So I'm just going to play this. Next turn I can do a Healing Mystical Emulation. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the Divine Bond. No chance this gets a big attack off. Let's see what I can get. Tiger, that's pretty good because Mechazor might be a problem for me. And slightly better for me to stay on his starting side of the field because the Spirit of the Wild, which I'm sure uh, this deck uh, tries to pull off. I mean, the range still works from anywhere, but at least if I set inside, he can't get a big frenzy on me. Oh, Hollow Grove Keeper. Okay, that's basically game over for me. Ouch. Um, that hurts a lot. And goodbye, Arclight, too. Well, GG. I'm going to go ahead and concede that one. Just beat him. But now I take a loss. Yeah, I don't think I was able to come back from there. He had his uh, Mechazor is going to come out soon. So, uh, I'll try again. I'm just not that good. <laughs> this game, it's not too hard to get to S rank. Hopefully, uh, I can get a win this time. That is the goal. It's getting hot in here. Worst part about the summer, the temperature. We're gonna play against Siva, which should be a good game. Get rid of the Tempest and ooh, Divine Bond with a deal toss in my hand looks so good, but I'm gonna have to replace it right now. Early on, whatever, I got it right back. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, do I get rid of the Sworn Sister? Yeah. First turn of the game, probably not going to have to use it yet. I'd rather have the Divine Bond now. Probably shouldn't have replaced it at all in the beginning either, because with uh, Azurite Lion, I can increase that attack 10 right off the bat. Like, it can deal two, bit, two bursts of 5 damage. And against Cassie, playing uh, very aggressive is kind of what you want to do as Lionar. 
I feel like I have a very good win rate against uh, Kasiva. I think that's one of my better matchups. Like, I don't like facing Magma or Songhai. But I do like facing Kara and Cassie. I feel like, Faye is a bit of a toss up. Um, so I can actually grab up to 5 mana this turn. Actually, I can grab all 3. I can play something there. So I can have a total of 6. But do I have anything to play at 6? I could try to play this right now. No, I can't do that. Never mind. It'd have to be to play six. I'd have to have two things to play this turn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Silver Guard Knight. Okay, so I'll hold on to that. I'm going to. I don't know, this is the best way to do this. Grabbing all the mana springs. <laughs> Whatever. So he can't get any. At least that leaves him at 4 mana this turn. But now my Azari line is just right there for him to destroy so easily. So that kind of sucks. And he's moved to draw a card as well. Probably can actually grab a couple cards from that because I can destroy it with a Sabertine Tiger. Yeah, I don't think that was the best play. Playing kind of rusty here, but Deal Toss, very good card. The game just looks a little like nicer now with the see the card text there. Not the card text, the little icons there. Now it's a little colored circle instead of a strange uh, diamond thing. And a little attack health is more easily shown. What's coming down? That was really weird. Did that just happen for you guys? Did you guys just see a black screen? I think it was my monitor. Alright, well that was going to die anyways. Oh, really? Well, I'm not really too mad about that, I mean... That was interesting. Uh, okay, now I wish I had a Tempest here. Don't have one though. What to do, what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna get rid of the. Oh, uh, the Windblade works with the Holy Immolation later though. Now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna get rid of it. I have to keep everything else, I think, right now. Double, double Tiger. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Kill this. Tiger, I will have. Destroy this. I don't want it to be in range of uh, the Blood Star Alchemist for an easy kill. So I'll go like that. You draw a card. And then I will deal a whopping 7 damage to you. You will only take 5 though, because you'll heal by a bit and now you're provoked so I do have a divine bond to go on that but I can't actually put it on yet so hopefully that doesn't go down too much in health I assume I'm gonna try to take out that uh, tombstone though but then I do have an iron cliff for this coming turn abyssal scar on that of course Forgot about a Bustle Scar. Promise Shield Master, okay. And then he's gonna deal a total of four there. Which I do a holy emulation, so that's good. I wish that I had a uh I wish that I had six mana so I can play holy emulation with Divine Bond, but unfortunately I do not have that luxury. I'll get rid of the lion here. Sun Bloom, it's not too bad, but Definitely gonna holy immolation, and I will take out this. Okay. And I have double double iron cliffs, 
So pretty good value, holy immolation. Was able to hit two minions on his general, but we're might we might still be on our back foot in this game. Double tiger, and he's gonna finish off with his general. Okay, so unfortunately, that kind of hurts. He does have to use two tigers though. Uh, he probably keeps some loom against Kasiva. Uh, maybe Saber Spawn's one to go now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna play. Could Shadow Nova now. I'm not gonna worry about it though. Yeah, I'm not going to. Hmm, should I just hit Kasiva? That might not be a bad option. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit Kasiva because I don't want the Spectral Blade on her anymore. Wish I had a Tempest, that'd be perfect for right now. So I'm gonna hit you. And I will put you there with Roar. Okay, so now hopefully no demonic lure. Demonic lure um, would hurt a lot. I think uh, most good uh, players know to hold on to the demonic lures against Lion or the. Looks like he's actually able to destroy it this turn. Yep. Okay, so paid six cost to destroy it. It's fine, I guess. And what are you gonna do? You gonna deal? Some more damage. Okay, well, lucky for us, I have another Iron Cliff. Um, hmm. Do I summon? I, I don't summon him yet, right? Yeah, I can't summon him yet. Uh, and I could actually. Sunbloom right now. Do I play the Iron Cliff with the Divine Bond already attached? No, that that's a little it's a little much. Do I dare get rid of the Sworn Sister? Like what am I trying to draw right now? Maybe a holy emotion, that'd be good. Not sure what I want. I want to keep both Sunbloom's for some reason. Let's go with it. Let's get rid of the Sworn Sister. Yeah, it's so much card draw in the late game. We're getting towards the late game. I can't do that. Uh, let's get rid of a Sunbloom. Is that really the right play? I have no idea why I did that. But now I have actually a better play this turn, though. So that's good. Um, put you up there. And I will... put you there. I don't know, was that good? <laughs> um, a Shadow Nova this turn wouldn't kill me. Still have a Sun Bloom though. And I kind of regret replacing that something. I should have replaced something else. I'm not sure what though. Probably the Sworn Sister. Or I should, maybe I just shouldn't have replaced. I don't know. But I did grab that Tiger. Which could be the game because Right now, no way to destroy the tiger, and then I have a. He uses all his resources, or all his mana to get rid of the Iron Cliff. I have a Divine Bond and Roar on this tiger, and that's, uh, that could be lethal. <laughs> he is 14 and plus the two. But, 8 mana, 4 cards. You gotta assume that uh, both of my minions are gonna be able to be dealt with. What are you doing? Demonic Luring it to the corner? Yeah. Nope, just replacing a card. Interesting. Okay, there's the lure. So that's annoying because that's going to be able to deal with both my minions now because my uh, tiger can be dealt with. Okay, so... Now I just fill my hand with cards now. I go with a Sworn Sister and then a Windblade probably. Um, do I attack with my general? No, right? Yeah, I don't think so. 
because you're gonna be able to if, let's say a uh, shadow nova is played that would be able to deal six damage to me seven damage to me yeah i'm not going to attack right now with my general it's very risky I'm, i am going to be aggressive here though i am going to do that uh I might actually just dispel these two right now. Depends on what I draw here. Skywind Glaives. Aerial Rift. Hmm. That Aerial Rift intrigues me. <laughs> aerial Rift. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of it. Skywind Glaives. That also is intriguing. No, I'm gonna get rid of it. What? No, I didn't. Sorry about that. Well, now I found something better at Deal Toss. So I'm not gonna play the Sunbloom Windblade. Um, I don't think it's possible for him to have Lethal this turn. Um, a. Uh, I just want to say. Because I played the deals as I couldn't play the my um what's it called? Bloodborne spell. Pretty good game here. Pretty close. I have uh tools in my hand that can help me win next turn. I'm not sure what Harpus is gonna do here. Uh Let's see what he could do. Spectral Revenant, I guess that would hurt. But he has to take care of like the Deal Toss and the Tombstone, which is going to be tough. Shadow Nub, okay. Going to get rid of my minions, not my... And Abyssal Scar, so... Okay, well, they're going to die. Now where does my Tombstone spawn? Right there. And that's going to be game. GG, right? I just go for this, and a roar, up, oh. yeah a roar would have been enough I think, didn't get to show off my skywind glaives, so, there's a win, loss and a win, and I go to 134, and I guess I did not get a crate this time, I guess they're kind of rare, even though I just got a common last time, so like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time, keep on dueling duelers.